almost died there. Chank Uger from the Young Turks has been running under the Democratic banner. Now, they just had, what, um, 97% for Biden win in the last... (laughs) <laughs> in the the first primary, but Chank did not drop out. Here it is from um, here it is from Vince on X. He says Hitler in the bunker vibe. Somebody make a parody. Chank is staying in the presidential race because he thinks he can win Vermont and send a message. He thinks he can end the war with a Vermont victory. Now I'm going to try to do something audacious as I, as I always do, which is to try to win Vermont. Okay. Like I'm not wrong. Realistic. Texas is a giant state. <laughs> In, a mu- in five weeks, we are not going to be able to get our message out effectively enough, especially with mainstream media stonewalling me, that I'm going to win. Text. That's crazy. On the other hand, Vermont is smaller than a congressional district. It's the home of progressives. Do we really think he's getting stonewalled or are they just not? Like, I, I guess in the sense he's getting stonewalled the same way Marianne Williamson and what's the other guy named Dean Johnson or some, Johnsonville Sausages. I don't know how much he's getting stonewalled as much as he has zero chance of winning. Now, RFK has an argument for being stonewalled by leftist media. Right-wing media kind of likes him. Um, But he has a significant portion. I think it's like 15%. Marianne Williamson has eight. She's probably not ignored by MSNBC. Jill Stein running for president. You know, all these things are, are, are to gain dollars and donations like tim scott was never going to win doug burgum or burnham burgum sounds like an early 2000s rap reference burgum son um a lot of this and the majority of this i'll say is to earn money for the next time you know i'm reminded of a guy named andrew yang he perpetually fails runs for something fails collects money says he's the alternate choice makes weird things like had a guy suck whipped cream off of him out of the bottle around his groin area we could bring that up but like if somebody wants to fact check me on that just google that but a lot of the stuff is to just get donations now do we believe that about chank do we believe that chank is just there to get donations i don't think so I think Chank really believes he's got a shot. And Anna Kasparian, who's become, been, she's been smelling the smelling salts recently in many ways. And I think it stemmed from when she debated Ben Shapiro and she didn't receive ultimate hate from his fans against it. In fact, she got praise. She's been smelling the salts lately. And it seems to be in this clip, she looks like she's like, well, what are you, a crazy person? But I think that Chank really believes he's got a shot. Does Vermont want to send a message? and the war and the occupation. Now, if I won, no one would dispute that that would be stunning Mm -hmm. and the message will have been delivered, right? And so at that point, Biden's gotta be thinking, well, how much longer do I wanna go with the war if I just heard this resounding message, stop the war? I'm gonna run in Vermont and my platform is going to be, do you like Whopper Wednesdays? And if the vote goes for me, that shows that Whopper Wednesdays have worked. Like, how much of Vermont is really going to vote on the issue of the Palestine-Israel war? That's my point. There, he's just kind of—he's choosing one of the most broad political topics and saying, "I guess it's kind of smart." And saying, "Vote for me if you're against this war, or if you're on Palestine side of this war," which Chank is. Vote for me. F- and will send a message. I mean, it's an interesting way to try to get a certain amount of votes. He will not win Vermont with that. But will he get more votes for that? Probably. Probably for some people who want to throw their vote away. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you can all gather and go against Biden. They're still going to find a way to put him in anyways. But maybe that is an interesting way for him to garner votes. Gigantic topic. Maybe a few thousand people will say, hey, I agree with that. So let me vote for him. If that's the thing you're going to vote for, he's got to he's got to assume that a lot of people are voting for Biden because he thinks they'll end the war or I don't know. It's hard to say, but it is an interesting play just as in, let's say, maybe a district in Florida, you're running for house and you're saying Whopper Wednesdays are on the ballot. If it's in Texas, it turns into Taco Bell. It turns into Chalupa's. And bring the fry supreme to the United States. If you want to bring a fry supreme to the United States, 
vote yes on HB 305, which brings Fry Supreme to the United States. It's very interesting tactic by Chink. Or stopped occupation. So that's point one. Mm -hmm. There's a second point too, uh, but that alone would be worth it. There's actually two more points as to why I'm <laughs> continuing. But again, point one, that's actually point two. There's actually two more points is why I'm continuing. Point C and D, this is just, Chank is Homer Simpson. I don't think anybody questions that. If you want to see him in full Homer Simpson mode, go watch him against Sam Harris. It's from a few years ago. And the chat knows how we feel about Sam Harris. But watching a person who's kind of smart versus Chank, just, and Chank doesn't understand what's happening, it's like Homer Simpson was brought to life. And if people say, hey, you know, your chances are totally unrealistic now, so I don't want to give my hard-earned money, 25 bucks, five bucks, whatever it is. I totally get it, guys. I'm the only candidate that'll ever say that, right? But if you want to help send that message and you want to take advantage of this unique opportunity where one of us is on the ballot in seven different states and we could use that as an opportunity to send a message, that would be amazing. One of us. What does he mean? He's not Muslim. He says all religion is stupid. That's the interesting part is Chank spent the good bulk of his beginnings at Young Turks saying religion is stupid, right? Capitalizing on the very popular at the time atheism online movement with Richard Dawkins, the aforementioned Sam Harris, um, physicist, theoretical physicist, Neil, uh, not Neil deGrasse Tyson, Lawrence Krauss, and the amazing atheist. And Matt Dillahunty. See, they were popular at the time. I remember a lot of them. That's what Chank spent a lot of his early days doing, is saying, oh, religion is all stupid. I'm not Muslim. I'm from Turkey, but I'm not Muslim. I'm here. I believe in capitalism, blah, blah, blah. And now he's taking a very, very, very fry supreme stance on, relig on a religious argument here. He's going to say it's not religious, of course. But even if he thought... And I'm going to put words in his mouth. Even if he thought Palestine was in the wrong, he would not support Israel. There's no way that he, he he's just sitting there and he's willing to be like, I'm going to go against Islam. Cenk's not going to go against Islam. He's going to say that he doesn't believe in it. He's going to say it has portions of it that are bad, but he's not going to go against it in the face of another religion. I guarantee it. Secondly, or fourthly, if you're Cenk, would anybody be surprised if he was eating Taco Bell during an interview? Would you be put off by it at all? You'd say, no, this is Chank. He, if he wants to eat Taco Bell, if he wants to eat Whopper Wednesdays on screen, let him do it. But is, is Chank going to win anything? No, he's not. It's obvious that he's not. And I can't wait to see him not, you know, give up. I just want to see if there's any more videos about this. There is. Here's a video from two days ago, allegedly. Um, it says, I love Anna Kasparian humoring Chank. See, I, I'm not the only one about his presidential run two days ago. So this is like the 31st of January. It seems less and less likely. It seems less and less likely that, um, you know, your primary run is going to go anywhere. So what are your plans? Are you going to yeah. stay in the race? It seems <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Does Chank really believe he can win 68 votes? Big, big. Turn it up, Jordan.